Boko Haram you may have heard of. They're prevalent mainly in Nigeria. They're a tribe and they are also an offshoot. Well, ISWAP is an offshoot of them. If you remember, they kidnapped uh, some 200 schoolgirls uh, some years ago. So anyway, in Cameroon, uh, it's reported that Boko Haram, who are based out of northeastern Nigeria, have again used children as suicide bombers in their deadly attacks on civilians. And the latest attack took place on the night of August the 1st in, I'm so sorry, Ngechwe, uh, which is in northern Cameroon. During the attack, 17 people were killed and at least another 16 were injured according to the report released by Human Rights Watch. This, uh, the report that I'm reading, is from International Christian Concern, persecution.org. All of the people were already, so this is the, the case is that they were already in an um, internationally displaced persons camp. So when, for example, Fulani militants roll up in Nigeria and uh, houses are burned and people are murdered and abducted, the remaining people are taken to internationally displaced people's camps, which is basically a place of safety uh, for these people. We want less of that, please. So that means they had already fled some other persecution or violence or, um, you know, generally not nice living situations. Um, despite this, um, and they had very little supplies, obviously, they were still attacked. So it wasn't for the for the sake of robbery. And the terrorist group conducted this attack in order to kill as many civilians as possible. It's a major part of their campaign, it is reported, and is likely an attempt to show that they are still a strong and powerful group. Boko Haram have been spreading their terror attacks through international borders. So rather than confining themselves to northeastern Nigeria, they are now branching out, as it were, into uh, Chad, Niger, Cameroon, and even Burkina Faso. So, and that's been going on over the past several years. These attacks are an attempt to create a strict Islamic caliphate in northern Nigeria. This caliphate would enforce Islam for all people and severely punish, obviously, anyone who was not a Muslim or moderately punish in terms of jizya for Christians and Jews, allegedly. So please do pray for the safety and security of Nigeria, Cameroon, Chad, Niger, Burkina Faso, anywhere where Boko Haram are uh, extending their range of terror. Also, please do pray for the children who are being used as suicide bombers. It's a horrific way to think of a child uh, ending their life, uh, which is already pretty poor enough. So I'd like you to specifically pray for Cameroon in this instance, for the families and friends and villagers who were once um, villagers with the people who've been murdered and for those who have been uh, maimed or at least injured please do pray for their speedy recovery that their faith would not be uh, brought into question by themselves and that they would continue to profess Christ uh, no matter the cost because we all know that um, it's better to keep your faith and lose your life it's better to it's you know it avails you nothing to keep uh, your body and lose your salvation. So on that happy note, I'd like to say Jesus is still Lord and that is why these people are suffering, um, but they suffer not in vain. Everything is in uh, God's plan for their lives and we don't know it. So whilst we don't know it, we call it out because the mainstream for some unfathomable reason chooses not to reference Christian murders, but anybody else, you know, they, they get the airtime basically. So please do pray. If you can go to persecution.org or International Christian Concern, also look at Human Rights Watch, and uh, there are a raft of them. On Discord, actually, in the SoCo Discord server, the authentic and official one, there is a section for those who pay only $2.99 a month, um, which is constantly updated, literally hourly, with stories of Christian news. Christian persecution and jihad watch uh, material. So please do consider joining if you have the money to save on one copy a month. You can join us. You can also join for free and uh, chat to us there. And God bless you and keep you until my next video. Bye.